TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of Hoof Trimmers. Folks, I just wanted to speak to you just a week, quick moment before I got out the trimming. Gareth has given me this new knife that he's wants me to try out for him. That has a bit of cutaway handle or corner for your thumb here. And it's it's just feeling good in my hand. So it'll be just interesting to see how it'll perform. So when we bring a knife to the market, we like to try and test it and I give it a good test. I don't like this about it, I do like that about it, or whatever the case may be. So here we are, this knife's on trial today. And this is possibly going to be our master trimmer range. She used to be trimming at least 40 years. I'm only joking. But uh, just thought I'd let you know that little bit of useful, useless information. See what our busy little minds are always up to. So I'll hopefully bring you a trim with this knife. So this is the third power into the crush today. The first two are sprains or joint issues we call them, or limb, da limb damage. Uh, trim that a little cut there, just let it down, it's okay, it's a routine trim. This one looks very good as well. So, we'll take you along, as I say, it looks like a, a nice routine trim also, but you very lay them on this cut, so. We're gonna introduce you now to the, uh, this really groovy knife. It's a nice knife to hold. Nice and substantial in your hand. I'm all right, Neil. Thank you. You're on a 16-hour fast, and everybody, that's the second person has offered me tea and tempting me to eat. Got this coloration here. See that discoloration as it comes across the blade of the knife. Possibly causing problems. So again, we're leaving, we're not touching her inner claw, we're leaving her toe triangle. Just notice up the side here, this is today. A little bit of soul separation. I thought it was just maybe a little neck from uh, let show you, take you around there. But they're to be connected to this. Okay. I'll just give her a little pressure test on it. She's not responding to that at all. I I think because this is so soft, now I'm going to trim it down another little bit and see if it's connected to what's going on in the heel. I'll prepare this for a block, I think. Get it cleaned out nicely with the glue. We'll be going in there just as the glue rolls down there. few scratches on here just probably ready to make me feel better heat it up sort of just heat it up gently to 
to take all the moisture and sort of natural oils out of the hoop. And then I think I'll put on one of these very fine, or very fine, although I'm holding it up to the camera, one of these no slow wear blocks, it's a sort of an eco-friendly block. And well, it was a little residue. So I'm giving it a nice score, Sarah. And if you remember, those are the blocks that taste like popcorn. And oh, I'm just getting the smell of it there coming up now. That is good. That's like walking past a bakery. So we'll get some glue on this now, get the block on, and proceed. So as I apply with my little glue gun. Hold it for 15 seconds. And there it sits. Then you can let this to the ground in 90 seconds. Phenomenal stuff. And the lovely thing about using that glue is it just does a really good job. Block retention is fantastic. This little block now will wear away slowly. And uh, we'll put her in to revisit her the next time and reassess what's going on here. So that's the block on now and we will uh, edge on this knife is lovely so I'm taking away the soft part of her heel I do feel there's a connection between the this there's a line in the white line area it's fairly well bruised there as well she did come in quite lame very hard. That wall horn is a lot harder than sole horn. It's got a bit hard, almost the job for the grinder. Very soon we go. Getting very close to the corium. That is quite bruised. I don't know if you see a little bit of moisture that has appeared there on the Oh yeah, see that there now. Wow, that really did really. See that rolling out there for the weekend. Redness on it there and it comes out. Easy there. Oh yeah. Oh that's good. That's good to see that. Yeah, it's brilliant. We've removed the weight of it and we'll revisit that little cow. Just go around and get our number now. What is your number? 286. 286 is on the computer. So thankfully with this block on, with this magical glue, and that will rest, and if it so was really kinked over on our joint. So we'll come around here now to the front foot, and as you can see, our front foot is quite, have it up here, but there's quite a little toe starting to curl around here nature's way of getting around things and uh, there's a lot of hoof so as she walks on this this is taken all the way and this is really not doing anything so we want to bring the entire foot into balance we're going to thin this out reduce the toe length and model it there's almost like a natural model shape there so we'll just take a little bit out of that and we'll model we'll do a nice model there just to take the weight of the pedal bow As I said earlier, it's almost like a little, almost like a natural model there. We keep that model steep to give her as much walking surface. So I've just taken off that a little bit there. That's cleaned that out. And uh, you can see the claw that was taking the weight. And you can see this 
br bruising just under the pedal bone, which eventually that bruising would, you'd have the ground pressure plus the weight of the cow, and eventually you would have live tissue or carrion that would push out there. So I'm just peeling that away nicely. She's not feeling any discomfort in that, but the comfort that she will experience now when this goes to the ground and you know this claw and this claw are, are working in tandem teamwork but like gareth and myself had we not intervened here there would have been a problem maybe in another week month it's hard to call it as we actually look across it now from there that something up is just like as level as you can get it You're just trying to if you can see what I can see over the back of her feeders there, as her foot goes on the ground now, all her foot will be working together. Now you can see her toes all, you might see there's a bit of a shadow there, you might can see it, but this toe is now nice and short, they're both the same length, they'll both be distributing the same weight on them. And, uh, so that's 286 for our history, uh, back to that foot. Got a block on, your white line issue, uh, sole hammers and laminated with three. And that's us. We'll not wrap it because it's, um, uh, I want to let it, because it was oozing out there, we've taken the weight of it and I want to just let her now walk on it, let it, and we'll recheck her 286 and that's it. Then up the head, we're back here, which probably it'll be in about. Two weeks time. Easy here. Now, if that was completely knuckled over when she was coming in, which is, um, you know, that's why I was sort of led to believe it was still a joint. And I do think with a slight deflation in her joint, but she had it all knuckled over to not want to walk on it. So now she's her block on, it's trimmed out, it's nice and soft. Over a little bit from breakfast. And uh, thanks for watching. So, listen, keep safe wherever you are, whatever you're doing. It's a great day to be alive. So, we'll catch up with you on the next one. Bye for now.